Hey InSync Drummers over here on YouTube. Each month in my InSync Drummers community, my members get to ask me questions and raise topics for discussion all within the worship drummer space. So, sometimes I'll post the full Q&A over here on YouTube like a month later, um, and other times I'll just take a section, one question out of that full Q&A and post it here, and that is what I am doing in this case. If you want the chance to ask me questions or raise topics for discussion, then do check out the link in the description below. All right, let's get in to this video. So the first question from Lester. Um, <clears throat> Lester, thank you for your question. Would love some advice or ways to use the crash and ride in regards to a build or swelling. Don't know if that's the right term. I find I can't make it subtle enough and it just sounds awful. And um, Mate, welcome to the club. I think that was me too. And I know that was me too. Um, I responded on the Patreon. I said, uh, quick answer, use your fingers, not sticks. Why? It is kind of a joke, but it honestly has worked for me sometimes. Now, um, I'll, I'll quickly show you what I mean. Compared to doing this, could, you could just nicely roll into it with your fingers, kind of like, by the way, these are not the correct type of ones. These are more like timpani mallets, I think, but you can get like a cymbal mallet. No, just let me just turn my mic off. Make it really easy to really slowly build up. Um, yeah, they're awesome. They're very, fluffy, almost like marshmallows, because then they're not, they're not the right type. Anyway, so to do with your question, Lester, about like um, 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 just ways to use the crash and ride in regards to a build or swelling, I'm just gonna focus like, yes, those terms might be interchangeable. I think build as more of a and kind of like what we do a lot of the time in our worship songs. Although this, you can just use your ride and, and symbol, like that's, they're both symbols, and crash to build. But I'm just gonna think about it as a swell at the moment, okay, for, for the sake of this video. Um, a lot of the time, it's gonna depend on the situation, it's gonna depend on how fast the song is and how long you've got to swell or how, how quickly and how short you wanna swell. But a few different kind of ways, a couple different ways is just right left, right left. I th sort of think of that as three E under four E under one. And that's just right left, right left, right left. That's just singles. Or it could be both. Da, 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 da. and oftentimes leading into um, a kick. Back to right, left, right, left. You can kind of split that up. But in my opinion, it doesn't sort of build up enough um, energy as much as this did. Because I think the more frequently the cymbal's getting hit, it stops being ga 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 and it becomes that rumble. And that's kind of the swell feel that we want. To double down on that, and this, this is like a little bit, uh, a bit tricky um, because of the speed of the single stroke roll. But if you double the speed, it starts to sound a bit, even better, sometimes. There's no wrong or right way, just sort of whatever fits best, but instead of just three E and a four E and Kind of more of a slow one. And then if we do three E and a three E and a three E and a four E and a four E, because they're 30 second notes. I think that can be another kind of, yeah, there's just gonna feel more swelly. It's gonna feel like it's building up more, but um, sometimes you don't even have that long. So, four E and a four E and a. So, still eight hits. Digga, 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 but from beat four. So, one, two. Now, 
Now I want to try and relate this to where I think you might be at because this is where I was at when I would be asking this kind of a question. To get a swell, I just thought you had to go really fast, which I kind of am, right? But I, I probably wasn't aware that it was a single stroke roll and I probably just couldn't do a clean, fast single stroke roll. So the key is the single stroke roll, right left, right left, right left, right left, right left, right left. Just practice single stroke roll on a pad a lot when you're watching movies, when you're eating dinner. Like that's kind of how fast it needs to be. to get it to where I was just before. Um, so how do you get faster with singles? You just practice it and you push your speed. It's kind of like, how do you get faster at running? You just try. <laughs> Sorry, that's not very helpful. But that's really, that's really it. There are very specific, you know, training re regimes that people use for running faster. But with with playing singles, I would just play it clean and then push your speed. Even if it's starting to get a bit sloppy, and just try and push it. Try and keep it clean. And then if it's just not working, bring it back to a speed that's a little slower, where you can kind of rest a bit and clean it up, and then push that speed again. Um, and just keep keep pushing your speed and use a metronome um, as often as you can because then you can kind of mark how fast you're actually going and making sure that you're still staying in time because otherwise it will like speed up and then drop again and we might not have noticed that we have changed our timing anyway single stroke roll is very important I, I, guys practice your singles um, I did show the 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 mallets and I, I do often get them out if I know I'm just kind of going to be in the background swelling. That was just right there, right there, right there, right there, right, just quite fast. If I did that on the snare, turn the snare off. Now we'll grab those, but if if I am kind of in the midst of playing and I know I'm about to have to like go straight into a groove, either after it or soon, then I will just use my sticks. And and it's I know Lester, your situation, you don't you're not in a shield or in a drum enclosure, you're you know, just out in the open. And so we get quite self-conscious of <laughs> we don't want to be too loud, so we play soft and then it's harder to play that fast right, left, right, left. So it is possible, you just got to practice it. Now, while I do often use the fast version, I would say if you can't do that cleanly, then stick to like the, the half time of, do 16th notes. So three E and a four E and a one. And just get it cleaner to the point where you can control the dynamic level. And by the way, if you don't know, I'm starting soft and going loud. Um, and that's kind of what gives it that swell feel. Now, to actually go a bit deeper on, um, you know, the cymbal swells don't mean anything unless they kind of fit into a song. I've just sort of made the tutorial for Christ Be Magnified and there's a cymbal swell in the recording that I didn't sort of include uh, in sort of the simplified drum part, but just have a listen to this. Christ be magnified. Let me put it to normal speed because it's slowed down. Here we go. Normal speed. Now that's quite subtle and I'm going to put a bet on it that it wouldn't be a real drummer. It probably, like at some point it was a real drummer, but it was probably just, there's a sample. You can just download samples of cymbal swells and that's highly possibly what they put in there. I could be totally wrong, but um, if we were to play that, 
Where does it start? Where does it end? I'm going to guess 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, from 4 to 1. And the way I would try and do it would be um, 4 in a 4 in a 1, so 8 hits. Let's just have a listen. Be and like, it doesn't, doesn't sound like da -ka -da -ka -da -ka -da -ka -da, does it? But I think because it's in down deep in the mix, it could it could be some sort of mallet. It might not be. This is how I would do it with sticks. Try it again. I think the second one was better because I started softer, uh, so you could barely hear that. But the the symbol is starting to move and and actually grow its swelling thing um, and so it is more subtle in the way that it, it comes in. I'll give myself a bit more of a run in. So that's how I would approach that. I'm not saying I'm perfect but that is totally usable. I know that I used to suck at cymbal swells and I think the key is Clean, fast singles and the control of your dynamics. Being able to start slow and build up. Let me kind of show you just faffing around with the mallets at the beginning of the song. Just some demonstration. Again, it's just right left, right left, right left, right left, right left, right left. I just can't say right left, right left that fast. These things are like, they give you that superpower. But you still need to be able to play. So, so practice, practice that mechanic first. That pattern, the right, 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 right. All right, I hope that helps you. And if not, I don't care, no, I do care. But, um, I do hope it helps and I hope you can grab something out of that and um, maybe use it.